You know? If I didn't know what's going on in this story, I'd almost say this seems tranquil. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> I really like how you can tell that this whole area is just situated in a gigantic void. Like, every little <laughs> peek out of those doors, there's just absolutely nothing outside. Yeah! Once you get off the premises, that's where hell starts. Oh my god! Oh, so a stranglehold, like a fucking, uh, like a purgatory st story? I think so. I mean, have you seen how, uh... <laughs> how Tequila has to live and what he's going through, I think it is purgatory. <laughs> I think I guess. this is a side story to Drake of the 99 Dragons. Oh no! Uh, there's a lot of people to kill. I think this is heaven for him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys appreciated the rocket launcher. That's the first and last time I'll be able to use it. I, re I very much appreciated the ragdoll that the guy in red did. Yeah, no, he's great. Wait, does the rocket launcher have a barrage move? Um... Oh, I didn't try. I well, bet it guess does, the, though. Guess oh, there's gonna be another God. episode of Stranglehold. <laughs> I guess there has to be. I can't wait to play through the whole oh. game again just for that. Oh my oh. God! Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> knock knock. It's Detective Tequila. <laughs> I forgot how much I love they didn't make a door opening animation. He doesn't fucking have time for that. So he just fucking runs through it and it explodes. <laughs> Look, this is the massive D engine, which stands for destruction, not door opening. Dude, <laughs> if I had the fucking raw power to just run through doors, I would do the same thing. Like, he doesn't even <laughs> pause. Like, it's not even like it's any effort for him. Right? Actually, how, um, the, the Johnny Fats, what's the gangster's name? Uh, John Woo. <laughs> Jimmy Wong. Uh -huh. Jimmy Wong, how he got so rich is by skimping out on all of his doors. Like, they're just the <laughs> cheapest he can find. Anyways, there's the last, like, major enemy we'll see. He throws knives, or, like, kunai. <laughs> he just throws, like, seven at a time. <laughs> it's no problem. I mean, that's some fucking skill, though. Shit. And it blocks bullets, so it's really great when you're trying to shoot at them. I love this guy is more like a Ratchet and Clank enemy than any other third-person shooter. <laughs> so, uh, going back a bit, who do you think is able to walk through doors better, Chow Young Fat or the Shockmaster? Oh, that's <laughs> fucking tough. Because, like, okay, the Shockmaster, he hasn't got, like, the finishing move of that down, you know? Like, he keeps tripping all the time, but tell you in fact, he's got, like, no charisma to it. Mm. Right? Yeah, like, like that's the big thing. Like, the Shockmaster has the showmanship. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I I appreciate the Shockmaster more, but Chao Yun Fat can do it just over and over again, you know? Mm -hmm. What's really unfortunate is that the sequel to this game was actually going to have a boss fight against the Shockmaster. Oh, <laughs> but, man. You know, it got canceled after Midway went under. Right, but it makes sense because the Shockmaster is playable in the multiplayer, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was going to be like that uh, Mysterio boss fight in Spider-Man 2, except he just, like, dies on his own. <laughs> <laughs> right, he turns really big and then just, like, hits his head on the ceiling and dies. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I thought we should get our feet wet a little. <laughs> just gonna keep running into his uh, his little pool there. I like how he also was just taking so many fucking bullets, like probably because he has like a thousand knives stacked under his uh, his suit jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's where he keeps them all. But right I above his really heart. wish that this was a scene in Hard Boiled where Detective Tequila is doing a little soft shoe in the like <laughs> in a lake while shooting people with a like shotgun. <laughs> Also, I lied, there's a rocket launcher in there, but we're saving it for something a little more important. Well, clearly not testing out if it has a barrage move, so not the most <laughs> right. important thing. I mean, clear, yeah. I mean, I made a mistake there. <laughs> I would love if, like, he had, like, the spinning around attack with the rocket launcher. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> he just rocket jumps. Just fires it into the <laughs> ground. <laughs> yeah, and kills zero people. Except for himself. No one, no one, no one person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, 
I think we've cleared out literally all those guards. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. They just keep coming. So, like... Detective Tequila died in the last level, right? This is just, like... This is, like, what he's fantasizing about before, like, he, like, completely goes under. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is real, unfortunately. This is his own personal L. Or heaven. Again, we talked about this. He gets to kill a lot of people. <laughs> like this guy. Wait. Uh, uh, like that like this guy. That guy. Oh, now it's his own personal <laughs> hell. <laughs> hey, you know? Uh, no, he doesn't always get the shot. Like, it's really brave that they zoom in on these enemy models. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, but look at that cool flip he did! Yeah, they, uh, kinda just look like Saints Row 1 characters. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're from the same era. <gasps> yeah, but Saints Row 1 is an open-world game, so, uh... Yeah, true. Yeah, but did it have... <laughs> Was John Woo there? <laughs> Also, I really appreciate how every enemy's, like, suit just has this constant shine all the way around it. Like, it's reverse cell shading, almost. <laughs> hey, you know? He- Jimmy keeps his men uh, clean and proper. Yeah, they don't only have to polish their shoes, they also have to polish their suits. <laughs> it's all latex. Jimmy is into yeah. some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like latex suits. Yes. I could not imagine a more uncomfortable. Don't fucking thing. kick shame, Chorps. They're like, oh, I guess Tequila's going home. He's leaving. All right, goodbye. <laughs> it turns out we're stealing yeah. his medical supplies. Somebody found out that you're stealing medical supplies. It's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's where this entire like feud with Wong started. Chong Young Fat just stealing his Vicodin pills. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, I need a, I need a band-aid, and my wife said I could come get some. And Jimmy just got so pissed. Jimmy Wong, like, made all of his doors out of paper mache, but he stocks every building with, like, a top-of-the-line uh, first aid kit. Some kind of boss. Plus, he has, like, vanity, uh, vanity band-aids, where he's got, like, uh, his triad logo on all of them. <laughs> Also, he has jade lions everywhere. <laughs> hey, you know? Look, you gotta flaunt your money somehow. I mean, like, they're supposed to protect you, and originally he was gonna, like, give them guns, but you know the budget kinda ran out? <laughs> because he had to replace those dang Vicodin pills Chow Yun Fat stole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're... You're really just left here with, uh, like, an a almost never-ending spawn of people. Uh, every time you kill them, they'll start coming from the sides. Eventually, they'll start coming from the middle, and you can run up to the door, but that is a fucking fool's errand, because as soon as you do, it spawns all the dudes that would come out of the door, and you just die. Yeah, like, this is so many, like, it feels like, uh, did he for- like, did something not trigger? And so, like, the enemies just keep spawning? <laughs> what's fucked what's fucked up is the enemy spawning is the trigger right like mm -hmm. i mean just in general i kind of feel like the more this game goes on the worse designed it is yeah it's like remember to start when it had like those like uh environmental kills yeah. mm -hmm. no that just completely dis disappeared after like two levels yeah you can see like the budget actively draining as the game goes on <laughs> yeah yeah, like, we were in a museum, which was literally filled with things that you should be able to do context kills with, right? Mm -hmm. But no. Well, the thing they don't tell you, which is actually a really interesting game design, is, like, the higher the, the, the budget for uh, uh, Detective Tequila destroying the world, the less budget the game developers actually have to work with. So, like, <laughs> oh my if God. you go into this final mission with, like, two dollars of destruction uh like it's amazing it's like the best video game yeah. you've ever played also i love just like the 200 grenades just lying on the ground 
in every cutscene. Anyways, we have a boss fight against a broadsword helicopter. Time to slide across the table and grab us a rocket launcher. This is what I've been saving it for, boys. You should have been using the barrage. <laughs> now, what's, what I love about this helicopter is that you can't hide from it. If you, like, stay in a building and try to, like, gather resources or kind of think about your weapons, it will just rip through the walls. <laughs> right. Not destroying the building, though. It just kind of shoots through them. <laughs> no, it destroys it. It's, like, oh, wow. massive. It's massive destruction, guys. Anyways, after about halfway through the health, uh, the helicopter will move to this side and do, like, a, a crazy barrage, but we have our own, and, you know. So it's fucked up that there aren't any, like, sports cars for uh, Chow Young Fat to do, like, the slide over the hood of in this game. Yeah, because you can't slide over the one right in front. Oh, and... <laughs> Oops. Well, glad that didn't <laughs> prove to be a challenge to get through. <laughs> He's like, this is what I wanted to happen. I'm actually fireproof. <laughs> I love fire. I love burning and being dead. Anyways, uh, you're given a little time to kind of get a breather here, kind of look around for supplies. There are different guns here. There's uh, a couple origami cranes around here. So I'm going to just kind of do an overview, <laughs> walk over the, the burning wreckage again. I'm going to say, even as a gangster, it's a pretty bad look to just like have the first thing you see when you walk inside be a bunch of guns. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, it doesn't really match the decor. I'll say it. I'm, well, I think it's kind of like when you put your car keys in the bowl before you go to a party. <laughs> Wait, so it's Swinger's <laughs> Gun Club? Yeah, so people leave with a different gun than they brought. I mean, it's, you know, they're wearing all those latex suits. That something is going <laughs> on. Also, I'm really appreciating when Chow Yun Fat is like that, like, the expressions that he's cycling through. <laughs> He's like, oh, I just lost my wife, and he's going through all seven stages of grief at once. Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, it looks more like, uh, it looks more like he just pulled off a prank, and he knows, like, it went really wrong. <laughs> and that prank was stealing old man once Vicodin pills. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? My name's Detective Tequila, and welcome to my prank channel. <laughs> <laughs> Like, his expression started off like, Oh, man, this whole day has been fucking terrible. Oh, oh but right, when I go home, I do have those Vicodin pills. <laughs> the first prank video on his YouTube channel is just, like, walking on rails and seeing if gangsters get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> when the police commissioner comes up and is really mad at the end, oh, just like in the first movie, he just says, like... Nah, you know, it's just a social experiment. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so what if this game had, like, a secret boss, and it was Junkplot from Dam from Hard Targets? Hell yeah. Oh my, oh my god. And you have to fight him on that giant island. <laughs> Don't make me sad that there isn't a stranglehold, too. <laughs> what if um, there was a secret boss that was Wilford Brimley? Okay, now I'm no longer sad that there isn't a stranglehold, oh, too. and a horse with a shotgun? <laughs> cool. Like civilized beings, like family. There's been too much blood already. I don't want yours or hers. You take her away. You and Tico leave Hong Kong forever, and all will be forgotten and forgiven. I love how Jimmy's thing here is literally just like, uh, all will be forgotten and forgiven. Like how I'll forget that I murdered your wife <laughs> and kidnapped your chi your child. You gone forever. Are you actually seriously asking me to make a deal with you? For your daughter's life, I'd say you have no real choice. Let her go. You have my word. I'm kind of shook by how the most high-resolution uh, texture in this entire game was that strip of duct tape on her mouth. <laughs> like, you can see the fucking Look, that, fibers I in that thing. <laughs> yeah, it works with the reflective shading style that you were talking about earlier. Mm. Anyways, like, like her father knows very well to go straight for the balls. 
And also ran towards that door and just phased out of existence. Uh, she hid behind the wall. Uh, I just love that, like, ah, yes, I have this cunning plan to trap Detective Tequila. Let me just untie his daughter so she can warn him about it. <laughs> well, it's okay, because, look, there are going to be a lot of guys here just running across, getting in position. It's like people setting up for a stage, like a play behind the curtain. <laughs> And it just keeps going. <laughs> like if you're not if you're not killing at least like every other dude, it can get really easy to just get like die here because it never <laughs> fucking stops. I am so into the facial expressions some of these guys have. Like one of them just looked <laughs> absolutely shocked at what was happening. Like this is a Mexican standoff because it takes place with all of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so now we've reached the final boss fight against, uh, Jimmy Wong, and- And Depang, the poster. <laughs> and the- the first floor here has, uh, every gun on it, so you can just kind of slip through, or, like, all the normal guns. Not, like, the heavy machine gun and the bazooka. And it also has, like, a bunch of health packs that'll respawn during each phase of this fight. So it's, like- Pretty generous, but also a hundred million dudes are going to be coming at you at all times. <laughs> yeah, if only you had a, a, an attack that took down multiple dudes at the same time. Uh, yeah, if only. <laughs> that was pretty cool that you headshot <laughs> that guy through a vase. Yeah, no, look, I, look, tequila's cool. Massive D, motherfucker. Anyways, once we kill enough dudes, they'll stop spawning. And then it's time for, uh, Jimmy to try to snipe us. But, we're gonna beat him at his own game. Tequila, let me show you the world's best sniper. And you're just like, I have a pistol and I'm gonna shoot you in the eyeball. <laughs> I think it's a bold choice that he chose to have a laser sight that is also drunk. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't notice that when I was playing, but it's very evident that that laser sight is, like, very lazily following the gun. Like, I'm just wondering how you even program that. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't actually know. It has to be its own, like, body, right? It has to be its own individual thing in yeah. comparison to, uh, in comparison to the rest, which just seems like crazy to me as, like, a programming thing. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't just make it snap to it. Like, it moves with the gun. Anyways, we gotta, we gotta use all our barrage attacks now. I mean, no better time. We have to use all the tools in our toolbox. And by that, I mean just this hammer. <laughs> I mean, what else do you need when you're taking down a crime lord? Anyways, we also destroyed his, uh, his jade dragon just to, like, fuck with him. I wish he had more incidental dialogue where he talked about all the things I kept destroying. Kind of like how, like, in the museum, uh, that guy was just constantly like, Oh, my, my beautiful exhibits are ruined! Oh, no, all my historical artifacts! I think oh, that was no, us my talking. jade dragon, I was gonna slide off of that. <laughs> Hey, just a couple more. I also like Depink's just there. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry, boss. I got this wall covered. <laughs> the pink's in the corner. If anyone comes through that back door, I'll kick their ass. I mean, it's kind of like how in Goldfinger, Oddjob just kind of does nothing for most of the movie, but be <laughs> fat and there. <laughs> so it's kind of like it's like the audience surrogate. Well, no, it's kind of more like how I live my life. <laughs> I know! Like, that's why you relate so much to Oddjob. That's true. Also, I really want to kill Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been talking about that for a while. I really hope it comes to fruition one day. Uh, I think H is gonna get him first. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Grim Reaper, you son of a bitch, you unpaced me once again. <laughs> Means that we'll never get League of Extraordinary Gentlemen 2. <laughs> uh, what a damn shame. I mean, Detective Tequila is like a literary character. He could probably be in that movie. 
Oh yeah, and he would be like way better than whatever. Uh, what is it, Tom Sawyer in that movie? Yeah. Well, the thing is, Tom Sawyer would trick him. He'd be like, "Ah, shooting people's not fun." The detective Tequila would be like, "Ah, I'll show you. I'll show you how to shoot people." <laughs> Anyways, it's time for Depong's boss fight. Now watch out, he's beefy, which means he can take a lot of bullets. You know that from real life. Yeah. And he's got two shotguns. Well, guess what, buddies? That's right, I've got a heavy machine gun and a barrage set up. So, Wait, uh, be fucking careful, he's bye. gonna jump and, like, you won't be able to stand right after that. <laughs> you know, Chirps, that's, uh, like, the secret behind 50 Cent, that he doesn't want anyone to know. Originally, he was very fat when he got shot. <laughs> and that's how he survived, yeah, all those gunshots. <laughs> I'm almost sad that you killed the Pang so quickly, because his whole animation going on there was very choice. I love no, that he's great. Pang is, like, the number one, like, bodyguard. Like, just this fat man who just looks like Future Friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's be real, though. I do not look like a giant baby with sunglasses like the Pang. <laughs> yeah, you look like a regular-sized baby with sunglasses on. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty tall. I just love that face he makes, just like, oh, god damn it, <laughs> shit! Not another bullet in my forehead. Ooh, oh, I hate him. Also, the way he just clenches his fist, like, he's just, he's so mad about this. My daughter picks the, <laughs> has the worst taste in men, or had, at least. <laughs> yeah, before I killed her. Oh, god damn. <laughs> you know I could take you out from here. I totally yeah, could. Yeah, big talk, buddy. <laughs> It's just that I don't want to. <laughs> What's great is that when you hit him with your uh, attack, it will uh, it'll cancel out his bullet. So even if he <laughs> shoots while you're doing the thing, it won't hit connect. It's great. <laughs> Anyways, like you were saying, he finally is just like, oh, I wish my daughter had never met you, a cop. You know, someone on the right side of the law. Well, actually, I'm looking at Tequila's track record, and I don't know if that's true. Uh, I wish my daughter had never met you, a guy who's really good at shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very narrow criteria, but yet you still managed to fuck that up. <laughs> he is a sign that says exactly that on his front door. <laughs> yeah. Also, warning, I am a fat guy. <laughs> he actually has a sign that says, um, intruders will shoot me on sight. <laughs> and... That's it for him. Eight headshots isn't enough to stop me. I like that Tequila just, like, <laughs> r like right after shooting him, just like, where'd he go? Where'd that guy I shoot go? <laughs> so, uh, Chirps, I have a question. Yeah? When can I- when are you gonna start a crime organization and I can be your insanely tough fat guy? <laughs> well, I've been- I've been taking notes during this entire, um, experience, and I think I'm about ready. Alright, so one thing we need to know. I'm not gonna talk after this anymore, because, you know, I have to fulfill my role. Let's not piss off any agents named after drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're right. That, I think that's the first criteria. That's the first thing I learned from this game. Yeah, Officer Pepsi, leave that guy alone. Just leave him alone. <laughs> oh my god. The paperwork is going to take a year. We have to glue together this Jade Dragon <laughs> all over again. Around for you. You're a cop now. That's how it works. You killed somebody. Hey! Yeah, she killed a major crime lord, so I mean... Who better deserves to be a new cop? Oh, and by the way, James... You're dead! <laughs> You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Have fun doing the paperwork in hell, asshole! <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what it is. Apparently, I don't ever do enough damage at the end of this level, and it just tanks my overall score. Like, I've been getting Bs and As before this. It just drops me to a fucking C+. 
I don't get it. Well, the thing is, there are three secret J dragons that you have to destroy. <laughs> oh, oh sure. man. And so, that's the end of John Woo Presents Stranglehold. Uh, it's a game that I think has, like, a good foundation, but it's very clear that they, like, didn't have enough ideas to sustain the whole the whole vision of the game. I mean, like, a lot of people worked on it, evidently, by the ten minutes of credits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did, but, like, I, it just, like, it has this really good start, and just, like, as you go on, like, it feels like more and more things are taken away from you. Yeah. It feels yeah. like a game designed for a demo. Like, you play this at the Walmart, and you're like, wow, this game seems great. And, like, as a story, it's also, like, it feels so divorced from what Hard Boiled was. Like, it's very clear that uh, John Woo was just a producer on this. Like, it doesn't seem like it captures any of the charm of that first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, so it, it's like if somebody explained Hard Boiled to you, it's like, Oh, so there's this guy who's, like, really good at shooting, his name's, like, Tequila or something, and he, like, takes down the Chinese Mafia. And it's, it's cool. It's, like, so cool. Like, he does this thing where, like, he shoots a bullet, but, like, he shoots it really good. But, like, the person forgot to mention <laughs> the part where the baby peed on him. Right. Or, like, the fact that he's, just, like, kind of a goofball. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's really... So much of the, like, actual, real, interesting, and fun character of Tequila from Hard Boiled is kind of lost. Yeah, for sure. It's like, they just kind of made him, like, a normal, badass, like, you know, movie star kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, I, tough I, vigilante cop. Like, that's basically all he is now. I miss what he was this weird, like, serial killer stat sack. <laughs> <laughs> I miss we could go to the Chinese restaurants and smoke a cigarette while having a toothpick in his mouth. Right, while playing the clarinet. Like every cool guy. Like, so much of that movie is just Inspector Tequila, like, drinking, going, Man, my youth sure was cool, but I made some mistakes. <laughs> yeah, and he had a different ex-girlfriend there. Bring her back. Yeah, she was cool. She had flowers and she... Oh my god, Dave Lang? <laughs> oh my god. This explains so much. You'll also see later on that um, uh, Serge Tankian from uh, System of a Down is credited with doing a number of songs. I believe the opening song and this, like, ten minute credits was done by him. <laughs> That's That seems weirdly prioritized uh, budgeting. It would have been cool yeah, if he I, just did, like, uh, he was just, like, an environmental artist or something. Yeah. Like, we got Serge Tankian from System of a Down to design the plants in the lobby scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah, was the yeah. Havoc yeah. physics engineer. <laughs> he was like, he was okay, so, standing. in the massive D engine, we can destroy things, but we cannot open doors. I'm sorry, guys, I couldn't make it work. <laughs> And this game's also kind of disappointing because, like, it gives you all of these, like, more, like, classic sort of John Woo homages with all the, the secret moves. But, like, the spin attack is just so worthless and the barrage is so good because it makes you invincible that, like, you have no reason to use anything else. <laughs> like, mm. it just it just seems like they missed the balancing on that one. Like, the game... I, f I feel like was like way better before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like maybe uh, maybe also just because the game just started taking a nosedive from the very start. So that's also probably been a part of it. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird for a game to peak with uh, the opening cinematic where he does the tequila slammer. <laughs> <laughs> Did he even do that? Uh, he did not in the opening, but once he gets to that, before that first boss fight. Oh, okay. oh right, yeah. Which has that nerd-looking dude, uh, <laughs> getting mad about a, a deal going wrong. Right, yeah. Classic nerd. <laughs> Classic nerd thing, uh, dealing drugs. <laughs> Hell, we should have fight that guy into the Let's Play. 
<laughs> oh, hey, look, John Woo worked on this game. Huh. Oh, wow. Wow, this song sucks. Is this what yeah. every System of Down <laughs> song sounds like? It sounds like it was made a garage band. So something else I want to talk about is, like, the overall plot, where I feel like there's so much fucking happening, and it's so hard to retain because all the story is separated by 30 minutes of shooting. Yeah. Like, Wait. it's so hard to keep track of, like, the Russian mob is attached to this, and, you know, we have these, like, three different triads that are, like, you know, vying for control, and all these characters to keep track of that they expect us to know and, like, you know, recognize as we go through. Like, they don't reintroduce them or anything. Mm-hmm. Hey, did we kill the guy who looked like, uh, like a like a, uh, a buff uh, Johnny Gat. Did we kill him, or...? Uh, yeah, no, he died. Well, no, we didn't kill him. He got killed by uh, Depong oh, okay. uh, in Kowloon. And, like, <laughs> I, I, I only bring this up because I remember while I was, like, looking up stuff, trying to kind of put stuff together for the thread, um, I went to the Wikipedia page where the plot is listed as being too long or excessively detailed because it li- lists, like, Everything that happens in the story. <laughs> Detective Tequila shoots one, two, three, four, five, and then it just like <laughs> lists every murdered man in this video game. Every single step he takes is very. <laughs> Detective Tequila shoots a dinosaur. Heartbolt is like a very simple plot. It's just. Uh, Inspector Tequila is investigating a triad. One of the triads is a former couple who wants to go straight. Wait. And there's a bad guy called Jimmy Woo. Wait, Ron White worked on this no, game? Johnny is that one. It was Johnny Wong for the movie, but yeah, I get it. Oh. Like, And you look at this one, it's like an essay-length like description of everything that happens in the story because there's so much going on. It's still an entertaining game. Clearly, it has, like, good ideas to it, but it's just, like, it gets bogged down by things. Especially, like, when you look at sort of some of the more gimmicky parts, like the whole band sequence, which, like, decent idea in theory, but, like, the way they implemented it is just, like, a nightmare. <laughs> I just feel this is one of those games that, like, hung around the same substrata as Wet, where, like, people played it but weren't, like, really talking about it or very excited for it. And I can see why now. Yeah. Yeah, it's easily one of the, like, third-person shooters that they released in that era. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. out of all the video games, this is easily one of the okay video games. Yeah. Like, pretty early on in the, uh, in the life cycle of, like, the Xbox 360 and stuff, and, like, yeah, it's, like, perfectly fine for being that, right? <laughs> like... Oh, wait, this was made by Rad Game? Ah. Oh. I love Rad Game. (laughs) Anyways, right here at the end with the special thanks is when we get some of the the wacky messages left by all the developers. Ooh. John Minyaki. Okay, it says Ed Boon here. And you know what? They should have put Inspector to kill you at a Mortal Kombat. God, that would have been... <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, oh, one that of the been bosses cool. should have been, like, uh, Scorpion. That would have been great. <laughs> they should put Inspector to kill you in that uh, one Mortal Kombat where they both the Predator and the Alien. <laughs> God, but, like, what if... Like, uh, there was, like, an environmental kill where, like, you shot somebody and they caught on fire and then the little toasty man popped out. Mr. Lick <laughs> the Cat. Love you, babe. Do you think that's someone's... A- <laughs> Do you think that's someone's actual cat name? Like, I need my cat Lick. I'm... No, Mr. Lick. It's very... Mr. It's Lick. very important. Right. Oh. The Fina... Fina Boys. Fina Rip Boys. Dad killed by Chow Young Fat. Ah, oh, that's what we should call our LP group. Petition, to, on, the petition to rename our LP group to the Vino Boys. Pinata. <laughs> disagree. We're changing it to the Strangle Van. Oh man, that's tough. Or Dollar Burgers. No, Strangle Van is better. A special thanks, to Dollar Burgers. <laughs> dollar Burgers just sounds like a depressing way to live. We should live. change our name yeah. to Wife Betty for understanding the biz. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And a very special thanks to you for watching along with this Let's Play. 
See you guys next time. Thanks, Chow Young Fat, for creating one of the most iconic action movie characters. Thank you, Chow Young Fat, for creating this Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the memories, Chow Young Fat. The memories will keep making us really think. <laughs>